what it do youtube i'm back with a different type of video at this time uh this time i'm actually vending at a i guess you could say uh at a flea market but this is like a whole different type of flea market like it's not like the one that i always i go to like every day this is uh i believe it's the fax the 562 flea which is an event that only happens on sundays and pretty much everyone gathers around like people that sell vintage or like um where they do like different types of merchandise they all come they all come on a sunday and it's just i mean they all they just sell stuff you know just sell and like anything anything you like or anything you want made yeah it's pretty crazy they actually make they make stuff in this type of event which i thought was pretty cool i mean honestly i've never been to an event like that and i mean i know i've heard of i've heard about it before i mean i've seen it i've seen it on my instagram I've seen their work. I mean, and it looks like it looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. I mean, how they set up everything. Uh, this was actually in an exposition park in Los Angeles. I mean, yeah. I mean, luckily it wasn't too far from my from my area. It was like a. It was about like a maybe twenty minute, twenty minute drive, twenty fifteen minute drive. I mean, I was still kind of late, but I mean, that's just me. But regardless, though, I mean, it was a pretty cool event. A lot of different people, a lot of cool stuff to be uh, to look at. I mean, they had food, they had beverages, they had. I mean, it was a family friendly event, so they didn't have no beer. So I mean, if you're like, you know, this is not somewhere to like get fucked up, I guess. But yeah, I mean, they had like they had pretty much everything. It was pretty. I mean, honestly, it was a, it was a pretty cool event. I I enjoyed it. I mean, it's always it's always cool being like around other vendors, like other people that do like the same shit as you. Or that like the same shit as you do, like just vintage stuff, you know. I mean, yeah, like I said, I mean it's pretty cool. Uh, right now, what I was inventing myself, I mean it was my cousin, so he's the one that's walking around. I couldn't be there the whole day. I had, I had other stuff to do, unfortunately. But I mean, yeah, I mean, he he was the one that wanted to wanted to do it, and I appreciate that, you know. I mean, he really helped me out. He helped me set it up him and his girlfriend. Uh, yeah, they were. They helped me set up. They stayed there till I think the event was from 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. Not 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. And yeah, I mean they really helped me a lot, and I and I really appreciate that. You know, if you're hearing this, you know, I appreciate you, bro. And yeah, I mean, it was like it was early morning, so I mean, I think I mean we were supposed to be between 6 to 7 a.m., which I think is super early, honestly, but. It wasn't that bad because, I mean, traffic was, I mean, traffic wasn't that bad. Like, yeah, I rushed it and I feel like my, my, I guess my spot could have been, like, a little bit better. And, like, I could have had, like, maybe more sales. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened, but my alarm was not, yeah, it was, like, I don't know. But, I mean, point is that it started, like, like you had to be there super early. You had to be there between 6 to 7. Uh, You couldn't be there. You couldn't be late and not going to lose your spot. Which to some people, I heard like I was walking around. I mean, I started walking around as well, but I didn't walk around with the GoPro. A lot of people didn't like. A, uh, didn't really like that. They, they didn't like that. That I mean, they send. I mean, once you get the spot, it's your spot. But the thing, if you show up late, if you don't show up between uh, your time, your, I guess your time slot. I think they like. I think you lose your spot. I guess. Uh, which a lot of people, I mean, what I, what I was hearing, I mean, this is not me personally, I mean, I didn't mind because obviously, like, my drive wasn't that bad. It was, like, maybe 15, 20 minute drive, which honestly is not bad. Like, it's, like, kind of like in my backyard, honestly. But there's some people that, like, actually came that live pretty far. And I guess it was, like, it wasn't, like, it wasn't convenient for them to be there, I guess, so early. Because, I mean, honestly, between 8 to 10 it was very slow it was a very slow i mean people are not people are now waking up between 8 or 10 to like to go to the flea market especially not this type of flea market because i mean this is our resellers honestly this is like a resellers like um flea market you know so i don't think like people who actually like look for uh looking for steel looking to resell online like i don't think this is like the type of flea market for you because i mean everything not nothing is overpriced but i feel like uh, there's no like there's no uh like there's no meat like there's no meat like there's no meat on the bone for you you know so i mean yeah if you haggle around if you ask for people i mean i appreciate i'm pretty sure but i don't think this is like a reseller's dream or like i mean it, it is reseller's dream to resell like to the public so you, i don't know i don't know you guys understand what i'm saying but like it's not like 
like I wouldn't wake up like super early to come here like and try to get deals, you know? Cause I feel like this is like pretty much like uh like like I'm like it's like a customer, it's like you know, like a, you know that you know how there's wholesale and there's customers, people like people that buy shit from cust like from wholesalers, like the end, like I guess like the end customer, like this is for them, you know. So yes, yeah, so, like this is not your type of flea market that you go super early to try to uh, get deals. Like the same, like kind of like how I like go to like the flea markets to get like inventory to sell online. Like this is not like this is not that type, you know. This is people want to sell to the public. The end consumer, because the people, the, the people are gonna wear this shit. Are gonna like, you know, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, so this is not like the type to like go super early. So I feel like, uh, I feel like yeah, I feel like it did start super early. Like it was too early. But I mean, this is my first. This is my first event. So I mean, I was pretty. I was happy, I was pretty happy with the results. I mean, I, it wasn't that bad. I wouldn't say it was freaking horrible. But I mean, for my first event, like it was pretty cool. You know, people were people were very kind. People were very very chill. And yeah, I mean, it was pretty easy to like to navigate. Like it wasn't like I thousand honestly, I thought it was gonna be super complicated because I didn't know where the hell it was. I mean, they they like they still they still give you like maps and shit. But I mean, at the same time, like I have never like actually been around the area. Like come on, like like LA, like, LA is full of, it's full of traffic. Like I don't like who the hell like tourist LA like that, you know? If you live in LA, like, I don't think you want to go like through traffic. So I mean, that's why I was kind of iffy about it. But I mean, that's why it was, like that's why it's pretty convenient for me because it was pretty early, so uh, like I didn't hit traffic at all. But I understand for some people that had to like travel, like it was pretty far. For you guys, I guess, like I guess, like, I don't know, cause I mean, I just I, like I saw people like coming from like uh, I guess like I don't know, like I think West Covina. I mean, West Covina was not that bad, but I mean, I, and but they weren't like bitching about coming to like to LA. So I mean, I don't know, like I don't know, like I don't know where it was. I guess the communication like. I understand why why they were like not complaining about it but i don't understand why it was that so unfortunate for them like i understand like the event starting super early at eight but i mean i don't know i mean i was pretty happy i mean i'm going based off my opinion and my like from what i saw from what i feel about it and honestly i mean it was pretty cool this is, this is honestly my first time actually uh going through the going through his footage i mean because like like i said i gave him the gopro and be like you know what i mean i need you to record for me because i need a video and yeah, I mean, this is like, like I said, this was like super early. So uh, people were still setting up. People were like, you know, people were barely getting, like, kind, like kind of getting there, you know. And it's like from the looks of everything, I mean, everything looks so legit, like, like so cool, so legit, like so, like you know, very professional about, like very, very professional people, you know. And honestly, I wish I wouldn't gotten like every everyone's like, I guess like Instagram name, so I could like tag them and like, you guys are interested, in, you guys, you guys are seeing it, like that way I could tag their. Uh, their Instagram like in the video I feel like that would have been pretty cool but I mean like I didn't think about that until now so yeah so yeah you know so I mean I kind of fucked up but yeah like I said I mean everyone brought out their shit like it was people brought hats people brought makeup people brought dresses people bought brought like you know people are fucking creative as hell they're making necklaces brace uh braces I mean bracelets <laughs> anklets I mean pretty much anything you want they could fucking make which is which was fucking awesome but yeah this is my cousin just walking around i mean yeah i mean i sent uh i feel like honestly I, I was honestly pretty like pretty nervous i guess because i mean i didn't think i was gonna sell anything but yeah i mean uh it started to like heat up like around after 11 that's that's when i that's when i left i got there like around 6 30 a.m like yeah like around 6 30 a.m uh they gave us our spot we started setting up we finished like around, I think like around 7, 7.30. And well, yeah, I mean, I was just like, yeah, we were just waiting for customers, I guess. But, and I was still waiting for, because I honestly like wanted to look around to see like how, how well, like, I just wanted to see if I could buy anything else, honestly. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, I'm not sure like what else to say about it. I mean, it was a good event. Uh, Like, there was so many different different people like just so many different people that create like cool stuff like i didn't know like it was able like people were able to create that shit you know so it was like it was so mind-blowing i guess but yeah like, you could, like even you could see like it was it's it was super dry it was, like super empty Cause it was like super early i think it was like around 9 a.m and i was talking to like other vendors as well like 
Cause I mean, like I like I said, this is my first event. Also, I was kind of like nervous. Like, what the hell? Like, why is it? Like, why is it? Like, <laughs> this shit look like, fucking dead, bro. So, I, like, I started talking to like my neighbor, I guess, like the neighbor from the front. Uh, you'll see, like, you'll see his shit. Like, his shit, he had some cool ass shit. And my cousin was telling me that people were, like were buying like a stupid kind of like stupid amount of stuff from him. And yeah, so I mean, I was talking to him and like, hey, is like, is it really this slow all the time? Like, like, where's all the people? Like, on it, on it, on Instagram, they like, they see like fucking like, I say like a hundred people like, fucking having fun. Like, where the like, where's the fun at, bro? And he's like, oh no, it's because I mean, they started super early. Like, it usually like they should like it was it's usually I think they I think they used to start between two two p.m. two p.m. to uh I think nine p.m. And he was like, yeah, like they used to start from two to nine. And I mean that's when like a lot of people started coming, like older people started coming, like people that had like actual like people that wanted to spend that have like I guess like well I mean people that have jobs and have actually money to spend. So that's that's the time that it was like that it would like be super like super great to fucking sell because I mean you got older people looking for shit that have money because I mean uh, I mean they uh they just, they describe it as a kid friendly place like a family friendly place which to- it, which it was totally was honestly it totally was a friendly like a family friendly place like I would literally want to like I would take my kid if I you know if I had the chance like I would take him to have fun but I mean yeah I mean he was just saying like yeah like it really starts to uh like it really starts to heat up or like people start coming or be more active like around 12 and lo and behold he was he was totally correct you know so yes yeah, so like once i started seeing that people started like to like one because i left like on i left like around 11 a.m because i was like bro like i'm done like i mean i think i saw whatever the fuck i wanted to saw i think i saw what i wanted to saw. What the? i think i saw what i wanted to see and i bought some shit so i mean i was already like you know i was like i'm good like you know so I left around 11 and I, and like around 11 uh people start people started actually showing up and well i mean i was like damn and like the thing that tripped me the most honestly like kind of like i was like what the hell like my cousin did not text me like the whole time he was there like literally like i was like i was expecting him to like text me oh we made we finally made a sale no actually i did make a sale like you'll see right now like but yeah like this whole time i was like i was like kind of nervous like like why isn't the guy not like why like why isn't this guy not texting me like what the f- like are we not selling shit or or like or what the fuck you know so i was already like i was like what the f-? like like damn like my first event this might be my last event like dude i'm not selling shit like the spot is 100 bucks but i mean one thing i do feel like it would be pretty cool like if they uh i don't know i feel like if they would like lower the price down I mean, they're lower the price down, like for like new like new sellers. I feel like that would be like that would be pretty convenient for everyone to like just wanna, you know, to I guess more people will wanna join. I guess, but I mean, they're they're very successful. At, like they're very successful at what they do. So I mean, I'm not I'm not no one to tell them like how to set up. Like five six two is like a very successful. Uh, I mean, I guess flea market. I mean, do like they've done this like I guess for a uh, quite a while now. So I mean I'm not telling them how to run their uh how to run their shit but I'm saying uh but I'm just suggesting like if they could give like uh like maybe like I don't know eighty dollars if you're like a newcomer like I don't know just some shit like that I feel like that will bring like more vendors more vendors to it like I said I'm not saying I'm not telling you guys how to run your shit you guys are running it to a, you guys are running it to a perfect T I'm just saying like cause I don't know like I feel like. I know it's like a very like a lot of young vendors and then I f- and I feel like if they didn't sell like nothing like that would have been like but at the same time I mean if you're like if you're vending I feel like you should be networking honestly networking making you connect uh, making you connections talking to people getting a clientele so I feel like it is worth it I, I feel like it is worth paying the hundred bucks but I'm saying but you're like very like nah uh, I guess not nah, like you're like a very shy person like i feel like i don't know me i don't know maybe it's me maybe i feel like you should i feel like they should like just give like uh, maybe like eight dollars if you're a newcomer you get what i'm saying like i don't know just like make a like make like make the person more comfortable because i feel like 80 bucks i feel like 80 bucks is more uh manageable for like i guess like people like people that are new to reselling or people that just want to get in just because they love like they love what like they love clothes you know but I don't know. I mean, that's just my two cents. 
But you see, he's like, he's itching to make a star right now. He's fucking rubbing his hands. Like, bro, like, he wants it. Like, he really wants to make a fucking sell. And he didn't make the star right there. Because I feel like, I don't know what ha- I don't know why, but I think something, I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. But he was itching. He was, like, freaking, like, scratching his palms. Like, bro, I want this fucking money. You know, but unfortunately, the sell did not happen there. But he did, he did sell. Like, he did, like, honestly, he, like, he did sell, like, pretty cool items, you know. So I mean, like I like I said, you know, it was a, it was a, it was an okay, uh, okay event for me. Like, that thing is, I'm not sure if I, if I like, will, will want to do it again. Honestly, like, I'm not sure. Like, like honestly, I'm not like, I'm not 100 percent sure. Like, I don't know. I'm like thinking about it now. Like, I'm not sure if I, if I will go again. I mean, they the. The event overall was great, but me personally, me personally, I'm not sure if I will go again. I'm not saying like because they're a bad. I'm not. I'm not saying they're like because I had like a bad experience. I'm just saying like me like financially like the hundred bucks. I mean the hundred bucks wasn't that bad because we did sell it, but I think I may. Uh, I think overall I made like maybe uh eighty bucks because we sold like maybe like because I I sold a Carhartt a Carhartt jacket. I think I sold it for like I think seventy dollars, and I think he made like ten more sales. Cause honestly, like, oh, I also, I also told like, hey, like, take notes, you know, like, take notes, see what people like, see what people are feeling, and like, what, like, what do, like, what, like, what kind of shit they they gravitate to. He was telling me that people do like, like, um, cheaper items, you know, they don't want to pay the fifty dollars, or forty dollars, or thirty dollars. They want to pay like under twenty dollars. So that, like, that kind of, so like, like I'm saying, like. If I'm if I were to go again, I would bring like a lot of not cheap shit like crappy shit, but just like you know like not expensive clothing. Cause I like there was like a rack where I brought that was just like over fifty dollars. Cause I, f- I mean there were jerseys, you know like they were like cool like they were good jerseys. But I mean people weren't feeling it, you know people. I mean people enjoy like enjoy seeing them, but like they didn't want to buy like they didn't buy that type of shit. Like they wanted like the cheaper stuff, you know. So I did. I was more successful. Uh, more successful selling like the cheap items. I had like five dollar items, ten dollars items, fifteen dollar items, up to twenty dollars. And I, but I told him, I told him specifically, like, bro, if someone offers you, cause I mean, my cost for all the items there, honestly, they were either like from, they were either free or like five bucks, you know. But like, there's like this rack right here that was like this rack that he's looking at right now. Like, I paid like a little bit more for that rack. That, like, like it was maybe twenty dollars peach clothing, twenty to ten to twenty dollars peach clothing. And I mean, I was asking like a pretty good penny for that. But at the same time, I told him, if someone offers you 30 bucks, 40 bucks, bro, take it, bro. Because I did not want to take all that shit back to my house. You get what I'm saying? So I was like, bro, if you could sell it, bro, sell it, you know? But yeah, but people were like, they gravitate more to like the cheaper items. Which I mean, like I said, like, it was like for like younger kids, you know? Like very like young, like maybe like, maybe like, like maybe high schoolers, like. And I feel like I feel like now I understand why the like why why the guy said like people between two and nine were like the ones that like I feel like more adults were like have money had jobs so they would they wouldn't mind spending like a like I guess like more money on like cool stuff you get me so I mean next time if I do go like I understand now like like to bring like maybe like five dollar bins ten dollar bins fifteen dollar bins but at the same time you have to like you have to see like uh like. Like make sure like you gotta know like what's in and what's not. You get you get what I'm saying. He was telling me like to bring like smaller like smaller uh, fit clothing. So like a lot of things I told him, like well like, pay attention to what people like and what people like gravitate to. So I mean yeah so that's kind of like the intro that he took that he, he told me about. And like well yeah I mean I was like well next time we, if, there, if there is a next time, I will bring more cheaper shit. Like I'll get more organized. I'll bring hats. Like I honestly I wanted to bring like shoes and shit. But like I said, like, I woke up pretty late, and, like, I didn't wake up pretty late. I woke up at 5.30, honestly, to be honest. That that was not late, but I didn't have my truck loaded up with everything, so it was still, like, kind of, like, you get me? But, yeah, this is, uh, I mean, shout-out to uh, to my guy right there. I mean, he bought the Carhartt, uh, the Carhartt jacket. I also bought some shit from him, which, which was, I mean, it was pretty, all the clothes that he had was pretty cool. So I understand why he sold a lot, because, I mean, he has, like, some pretty cool shit, honestly. And they were good prices. Like, they were literally, like, good prices. So, I mean, shout-out to him. I think, uh... I'll, I'll try to put his shop on the description. Because I do follow him on Instagram. And he also did tell me uh, to check out, like, this other flea market. That also, hap- that also happens on Sundays as well. 
I think it's called. I think he told me it was called. Um, oh, uh, what's it called? I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember. Ah, uh, shit. Damn. I think it's called uh, the Collective Flea Market. I believe. Um, they're located in, like in Long Beach. So I don't know. I mean, I I was thinking. Of, I mean, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about going, but I I, I wasn't on, like a hundred percent shit because I still. I mean, I still have to ask my cousin if he would want to go. But I mean, I did check them out, and it looks like the crowd seems a little bit more uh, more older. And he was telling me, I was like, yeah, like you have cool shit, but I, I not. He's like, oh, you have cool shit, and I feel like that will fit more to like a older crowd, because I mean, like honestly, like I mean, other people there were like, shout out to everyone that's like, shout out to the youth, honestly, like I mean, the youth is what we need right now, or, or like, shout out to them because they make the money. Honestly, like they're the one that spend money, they're the one that tell their parents to like spend money. So I mean, shout out to them. I mean, no discredit to them, but I mean, he was like, oh yeah, your clothes is like a little bit more, I guess, uh. I feel like it, I feel like my clothes a little bit more towards like a like a older crowd I guess I don't know I don't know but yeah like shout out to him though because he he make a lot of like a lot of suggestions a lot of intel about other flea markets and yeah I mean I'll I'll shout out his uh, Instagram in the description below that way you guys could check out his shit because he has a lot of cool shit I mean and I appreciate him for like you know just buying shit you know because I was like fuck honestly at that time I was like damn bro like we're actually gonna take everything <laughs> like we're actually gonna take everything back like fuck but no but I mean this guy came came through he bought some shit and you know I appreciate you bro if you're listening to this shit he was like he was very chill man like very like a very chill guy very like like he doesn't seem like uh, like like I mean not like not in the bad way he doesn't seem intimidating like he, like he seems like very like very welcome you know like he wanna go to his like his stand and buy shit you know so shout out to him and and I think I think he said like and his like his other friend as well. I mean his other friend was very cool, like very cool, just like very respectful. Like I said, like this flea market was very like we felt like respectful people, you know. There was like uh I think there was like a little kid I gave it now like I guess like uh Oreo uh I think was it Oreo Oreo uh cheesecake that shit was fucking bomb. It was fire as hell. So I mean sh- like I'm telling you like people people there were very kind and I would suggest anyone going or vending there. Cause I mean it's very it's very chill you know it's very fun. I mean expect it to be slow between like eight to ten, eight to uh, eight to eleven. Expect that honestly. Like don't get nervous. Like don't be like don't think like you're not gonna sell shit. Cause people start coming like after twelve, after eleven, like after eleven a.m. So yeah, I mean yeah, it was pretty like it was it was a chill it was a chill event. Damn, I'm still like talking to this guy. Like damn, what the fuck. All right, let's go. Let's go. I want to see what more, like, yeah, I, 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 like, edit the video, but I also, like, what the fuck, come on. So, yeah, like, I was getting, like, his digits, you know, like, my guy, not his digits, but his, I was getting his Instagram. Because he was telling me about that one event in Long Beach. And, I mean, I, saw, I went to their page, and it seemed, like, pretty cool. And, but their event started, like, super late, kind of, like, around 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Like, damn, that's kind of, like, that's kind of late, honestly. <laughs> i never been out that late. <laughs> But yeah, I was saying my cousin, oh, you're gonna go to that one. He was like, all right. I like, oh shit, like, bro, chill. So yeah, like, uh, what else? So yeah, so I mean, yeah, I think I think this person, I think, uh, I think that's where he made his first sale, I believe. He uh, someone bought like a gas, um, a gas, what's that shit called? A gas crew neck. Damn, I, I, I like. I was like, I told him, like, what else did we sell? Like, oh, like, did you ca- did you capture the cells? Did you record the cells? Like, oh, no. Like, oh, bro, what the fuck? Uh, like, nah, but, uh, like, no worries. Like, I'll try I'll try to cut some shit out. Because there's times where, like, honestly, like, in this video, like, there's times where, where he's just, like, sitting down, like, nothing is happening. So, I mean, like, what the hell? Like, bro, I mean, that's how, that's how flea markets are. Like, there's going to be days where you're just going to be sitting down, not doing shit, and just waiting for the customers. It's just not, which is normal. I mean, I see people do it at other flea markets, so it's normal. Like, like if you guys like are planning to go to a flea market and try to sell, like I me, mean, like don't be nervous. You know, just like you know, just chill. Like shit's gonna happen eventually. The only thing I d- also don't forget is to bring fucking bags. Like, don't forget to bring bag. Like, don't forget to bring like to to like bring bags for your shit. Like, I fucked up by I forgot. Like I said, I was in a rush. You know, so don't blame me. Like, it's not my fault. So yeah, I forgot to bring bags. People had to, <laughs> people had to carry this shit. Like, oh my god, I felt like I was, I was like, once I got home, I'm like, fuck, I didn't bring bags. Like, oh well, like, well, people, like, people were like, people didn't like mind it, I guess. So I mean, it was pretty cool. 
I mean, he did like he did tell me that people like were also asking us like if are we gonna are we gonna be here like every Sunday? I'm like, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know about every Sunday. So I mean, we I did get good feedback. I, like people like people like were like pretty like liked our stuff, and I was like pretty happy about that. But damn, I just uh, honestly I'm still to like to right now. Like I think their next their next event is uh, October 29th, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go. Like honestly, like. I don't, I don't know I don't know like honestly I'm I'm already thinking about like the next move right now like I like I said like like I've been like like I've been mentioning like in my videos like I want to like flip a storage unit I want to flip a fucking storage unit that's what I want to do honestly I feel like that's that'll be so much fun that'll be so much good content like buying a storage unit online uh look at go looking at it and try to flip that on like at the flea market and see how that see how that goes like I don't know I feel like that'll be so cool Cause I've lived through that. You get me? Like I've seen, I've seen people do that, and I feel like I could, like I guess, duplicate that as well. But it'll be so cool, document like documenting it and like like just showing it on YouTube. You know, I feel like that would be a cool, like cool hustle, like a sh a cool little video. You know. But yeah, I mean, uh, people like people were asking if we're gonna do it again. I mean, shit, I don't know, bro. I don't know. To this day, like I'm not, I don't have a for sure answer. Like, I don't know. Cause I mean, honestly, I wasn't even planning on going uh, this uh, on this Sunday. Cause I was still like, fuck, I, I'm like, let me at least plan it out. Like, let me just like at least like plan it out, or like I don't know, like see what I'm gonna bring. But I mean, people were just like, just do it, like just go for it. And I was like, fuck, all right, fuck it, I'll just go for it then. So I just I bought the spot that same day, and I was like, fuck it, it is what it is. Like, whatever's gonna happen, what's gonna happen. And yeah, we're here now. So yeah, guys, I mean. If you want to go to the, you want to vent at the 562 Fleet, I told, I totally recommend, I totally recommend it. I mean, it's, it's very friendly. People are very nice for you, very nice to you. No one was, no one was rude. I mean, don't be rude. Don't be, don't be shy. Just have a good time. I mean, it, it gets slow. It's like, it's just every, like, it's like every business. Like it gets slow. You know, there's gonna be times where you're just sitting there not doing shit, and that's okay. You know, that's how business is. It's not always like. And now we're gonna be fucking busy, you get me? Like just like if you're interested, just go, you know, just see how it is. Get your get your feet wet. And then just how I did, you know, I just like I saw this I saw their uh I saw the Instagram and I just booked it like right that same day because I was like, fuck it, it is what it is. I'll give you out of it. And I mean that will uh, that will hopefully pay for the spot, you know. This video will hopefully pay for the spot. But yeah, I mean it was just good vibes. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about them. I mean, they did pretty good. I mean, they like the parking was pretty expensive. Though. That's that's the only thing, fifteen bucks. That was that was the only thing. But I don't think that was them. I feel like that's pretty much the venue that they booked. But yeah, I mean, honestly, what's next? Uh, what is next? That's a good question. What's next? I feel like next thing I want to do is pretty. It's been at a flea market, like, like an actual flea market, like like the ones that I go to, like buy a storage, buy a storage unit and vent. I feel like that's oh yeah, and he's like fixing shit, like I told him, oh like whenever you sell something, like uh put it, cause we had like a pile up here, like I guess like ten dollar clothing, five dollar clothing. I told him to like get the clothing, and that's pretty much 